Recently, a very influential person, a very huge social media following became Muslim. Alhamdulillah, a new Muslim. However, he is a man who is perceived as a threat to feminism, the whole feminist project. And of course, a new Muslim doesn't become a wali of God overnight. The Prophet said, that none of you become a true believer or complete believer until his hawa, his, his passion, his caprice is in accordance with what I have brought. This is a lifelong struggle. But check this out. There was a Muslim sister who tweeted this was public. She tweeted that if this new convert is welcomed as a Muslim by other Muslims, she will leave Islam. And she said, then I will deal with Allah on the Yawm Al-Qiyamah. How could she possibly say something like this? Why would, why would someone taking shahada threaten her Islam? The reason is because it seems to me, I hope not, but it seems like her religion is not Islam with a dash of feminism, but it's feminism with a dash of Islam. You know, Hind bint Utba cannibalized Sayyidina Hamza and Ghazwat Uhud. Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anhu, one of the most beloved people to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And she came on the day of the conquest of Mecca and she was veiled. And she came to the Prophet sallallahu and said, Praise be to the one who made his religion victorious. And he said, Man ant, who are you? And she said, Hind. And he said, Marhaban, welcome to the religion. He didn't turn her away. He has no right to do such a thing. Even he doesn't have a right. The Prophet sallallahu didn't want to see the face of Wahshi because he killed Sayyidina Hamza. But the Prophet never said to him, No, 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 you can keep your shahada. We're cool with your shahada. We don't own this religion. This is our privilege that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us Muslims.